To create a new art asset, click on the art panel. This will open up the art builder. To get started, let's click on the plus icon. I'm going to make something really simple. So I'm going to create a flower. I'm going to get started using green for the stem and the leaves. I want to make the flower white, so I'm going to change the color of my brush to white. Now I want to give it a yellow center. So far, I've only been using the default colors. I want to use a color that's not in the original eight colors, so I'm going to use this blue as an example. I don't plan to use blue on this flower, so I'm going to make this a darker shade of green to use for the stem. The top color slider lets me change the group of colors it belongs to, and the bottom slider lets me change the shade, or the value. Next we're going to animate this flower. To add an animation frame, I'm going to click this plus tab down here at the bottom. This will duplicate the art that I have on the canvas right now into a second frame. Let's make a simple change so you can see it move. I'm going to use one of the nudge tools to nudge my artwork downward. If you look at the preview window in the bottom left corner, you'll see my flower is now animating. There are other tools at your disposal here, such as the reflection tools, copy, paste, and undo or redo in case you make a mistake or you would like to redo an action. To delete an animation frame, click the trash can button at the top right of the toolbar. This will delete the frame that you currently have selected. The eraser is extremely useful when you are animating. Let's use it to remove this leaf and draw a new one. Since I am taking a different approach to animating the flower this time, I want to use the copy and paste tools. I'm going to go up here and click the copy button and copy this first frame and paste it after my second frame. Take a look at the bottom left corner of the screen. Notice it says 6 FPS. FPS means frames per second. To change the speed of the animation, we're going to need to change the FPS. The lower the FPS, the slower the animation. The higher, the faster the animation. Let's slow our animation down just a little bit. To change the title of your art, click where it says Untitled at the top. You can call it whatever you want, but I want to call this one Flower. If at some point while animating you decide you want to change a color on your art, you're going to have to go into each frame individually and change that specific color. In this case, I decided I want my white flower to be pink. So I have to go into each of my four frames and change that color to the pink that I want. Now that I'm satisfied with my flower, let's take it into the game builder to see how it looks in a game that I've made. With the asset tab open in the game builder, click on one of the empty slots with the plus sign on it. This will open the library. Let's look for our flower that we just created. I'm also going to pull in some dirt that I made earlier today too. This probably wouldn't be very good for terrain, but just for example, I'm going to decorate terrain with this flower. I only use green as an example, but you can decorate any of the eight block types with your art. Let's try it on an orange block. 